Hey everyone out there, thanks for watching. Uh, to the people who've never been on my channel before, just a couple days ago I made this video uh, about the video, or uh, about the, the video, about the video. <laughs> Oh, let's try this again. Made a video about the Pope, right? Doing the old resignation thing. First Pope in 600 years to do it. And uh, I kind of covered all the conspiracy theories surrounding that. But uh, on this one specifically, there's a conspiracy theory about how Pope John Paul II is going to come back to life. And, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, that's what's going to happen, right? It's one of the conspiracy theories. And there is a guy who's got a bunch of stuff to back it up with. You know, whether or not it's the real deal, I don't know. But uh, there is someone I want to thank super, super fecta. Because after I, on this, on this video, on one of the comments, he said, hey, did you know that if you go to the Vatican, they have a webcam in real time that sits and just sits and stares at Pope John Paul II's tomb all day, every day. And I didn't believe it, so I went and looked for myself, and sure enough, here it is. I'll put it below, right? And if you go down here, you can pick from six webcams, and the other ones are over the city and... But nope, they have one that just sits and stares at a tomb all day. Why? So does that mean that Pope John Paul II is going to come back to life after all? Well, Quebec seems to think so. Their government, they're preparing for a zombie attack led by the dead Pope. That he's going to come back to life, lead a whole bunch of man-eating zombies, and go attacking everybody. Well, I made that part. They don't think it's the Pope going to lead. I had a cut part. Okay, I made that part up. But <laughs> as you can see, Quebec, for real, their government is for real preparing for a hypothetical zombie attack. Now, why are they doing that? I don't know, because this is not the only place. This is happening everywhere. Maine did the same thing. Russia did the same thing. This has happened all over the place. And what I don't understand is, is that we are supposedly this big, broke globe. This whole entire place, and not just the United States, everywhere is supposedly broke. And we have all sorts of threats of World War III at all times, but we're going to spend money and time and effort and manpower on preparing for zombie attacks. Really? That makes sense to anyone out there? So, do, is Pope John Paul II going to come back and lead the zombie apocalypse or the zombie revolution? I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I don't think so, but you know what? I don't put any... I don't... I don't close my mind to anything these days. My mind is open to all possibilities because I have seen things that I never really could believe would have been happening in a really real world just within the last couple of years. So my mind is open, but uh, we'll see. And luckily, I hope they stick with their damn plan because the news is saying that they're supposed to wait until uh, late March to pick. So I hope the, the pick the new pope. So I hope nothing changes, and I hope that we only have to wait one more freaking month to find out who this guy's going to be, because I can barely take it. I'm on the edge of my cussing seat with this, and I can barely take the, the, the suspense anymore. So I'll put the links below. If anyone just wants to sit and stare at the old tomb all day, hey, have at it. Love all my subscribers out there. Thank each and every one of you. See you on the next video. Bye.